Mary Kitchen for Red Carpet Diary and we are here at the Ryerson Theatre awaiting the cast of Lime Life who we spoke to earlier today. Martin Scorsese, how did he become attached to He saw my this? first that movie I wrote. He uh, gave me some notes, some editorial notes and then when I wrote Lime Life my agent sent it to him and he loved it. And he said, great, put my name on it. I think it's great. And it is based on you and experiences you and your brother had. Yeah, growing up, yeah. It's a big premiere, the red carpet. Yeah. How do you feel about walking the red carpet? It's, you know what, it's a little <laughs> daunting. It, it always is a little daunting. It, it's the best way to make yourself feel incredibly self-conscious, insecure. I have no witty answers for anybody. I look like garbage. You know, all these Drunk, things go through your yeah. head. I'm, I'm barely sober. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I'm so nervous, I can't do anything. Not even a Tylenol, because I'm like, what will I say? I'll probably sound like an idiot. I have never been so nervous in my whole life. My brother absorbs all the tension, and I like to release it. World premiere of the movie that I spent seven years trying to make and got to direct and I'm absolutely nervous but it's it's a good good energy you know. You guys do not seem out, nervous in the least bit and well, your brother is so nervous yeah. right now. I had the freedom to be relaxed because anybody who would screw with me my brother would basically kick their ass. So. Oh that's nice. Yeah. All right. You should try that. Maybe it'll help Kick your brother. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not nervous. You're not. Not at all. No. I think they're going to uh, they're going to see a very uh, complex, moving, troubling movie. Um, you know that uh, also is funny at times. The film's just about learning from your parents' mistakes, and I think everyone can relate to that on some level. It's a real slice of life, and quite a hearty slice of suburbia, and a nice coming of age story. I and mean, it comes from a real place, so it's it's true. It's real. All this stuff. It's got a very interesting ending. I think they're going to come to their own conclusions. There's these moments in it that that are, I just think, kind of amazing. Toronto has a very astute, sophisticated audience. I think that there'll be some some questions about the ending. I hope they laugh at the right points, and you know, I hope they don't laugh when they're not supposed to. You really don't know what you have until it's in front of an audience, and this is the big barometer tonight.